Hi, it's me, Sasha. I am coming at you today with a picture book triple attack. I'm going to be talking about my three favourites uh, at the moment, and they're all good books. The first one is possibly my new favourite book of the year. It's called 100 Dogs by Michael Waite. This book has got 100 dogs in it. It's really good, like fun, rhyming story. So it's got like a good format, like shaggy dog, baggy dog, wag, wag, waggy dog, dirty dog, squirty dog, watering a tree. He's doing a wee wee. It's really, really funny. I have been rolling around laughing at this book. Some of my favorite dogs in this book, it's Flaky Dog, because he's got skin disease. And who else is there? I really like Underdog as well he's under stuff and he looks like a little gremlin but whatever your favorite type of dog is I guarantee you it will be in this book 100 dogs read it a hundred times so the second book I'm talking to you about today is koalas eat gum leaves this book is brilliant it's by Laura and Philip Bunting last year Philip Bunting brought out Mopoke which was about a little Australian breed of owl and it was really, really fun. And it's definitely one for fans of John Classen because it's quite like sort of graphic, designy. And oh, there's a nice little made up swear word. But he's actually saying, by gum, that's good. He's having ice cream for the first time. But koalas don't eat ice cream, they eat gum leaves. Um, <laughs> this book is really, really silly. And it's just nice to have a story that's not like about a dog or a cat or your standard like British animal. You just go out there a bit, enjoy a koala book. And yeah, this is, uh, if you've enjoyed like John Classen or Oliver Jeffers, this is just a really like fun story with moral of, you can't eat ice cream every day because that's crazy. You've got to eat some gum leaves. Otherwise you'll get bad tummy. But yeah, koalas eat gum leaves by Laura and Philip Bunting. The last book I'm talking to you guys about today is Princess Swashbuckle by Holly Hughes and Deborah Albright. I don't really go for things that have princess in the title. As a mother that has to watch Frozen, Tangled and whatever other other princesses are out there on a daily basis, I steer clear of anything that's like pink and fluffy. But this book definitely caught my eye. Princess Swashbuckle. So she's like a gross slimy frog, but also a princess. But she doesn't want to be a princess. She wants to be a super cool pirate princess. So she just sort of packs up her princess life and just goes, no, 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 no. I'm going to go and get on a big old boat with some rats and like a stinky crocodile thing and go and make breakfast with snakes it's really really fun it's a really nice rhyming one as well and i think it's nice for uh for little girls who are going through that tangled and frozen phase where they do just want princess stuff and it just sort of goes well actually you can be a princess but you can also be a gross slimy frog with a big green face and go off and have adventures and you know do pirate things like play badminton which is really like very very pirate thing and, you know the illustrations in it are really lovely and just a nice one to read over and over and over and over again instead of watching Tangled <laughs>